Hey, many of you have the wrong idea of what twin flames are or what a twin flame union is supposed to look like. And union is not some movie fairy tale thing scenario where there are no disagreements and everything is just sunsets and flower petals and scented candles. Hmm. Twin flames constantly mirror to one another where love needs to be called in. And if you understand how to identify and handle that, then you have nothing to worry about because it, it is a true loving action that twin flames give to one another to point out their upsets for them to be healed. And if you don't know how to approach or handle being in a union with your twin flame, it will be so incredibly frustrating that you will vibe out of each other's physical reality. Hence separation. So if you believe that union with your twin flame operates the same as like some ordinary relationship, like it has with uh, dating some random person, then you couldn't be further from the truth. And trying to associate union with that type of relationship will drive you insane. Twin flame union is not at all a soulmate type relationship. Therefore, you cannot approach it in the same way. That's, you know, that's what so many of you are trying to do. It will not work. If you don't believe me, go ahead and keep doing what you're doing and then measure for yourself if what it is you're doing is making you feel closer together or further apart. So if you attempt any of the same like bullshit that you did when you were dating a random guy or a random girl from the past, your twin flame will bulldoze you. Playing games is not treating them authentically. It's not being authentic. And it is a very codependent action. You and your twin flame are one. They are not just some other person. You can be as sneaky as you want, but they know when you're being a shithead. And they will treat you like a shithead because they mirror you perfectly. If you're not being genuine, authentic, sincere in your love, they will mirror that back to you. You will get blocked or ignored or worse or whatever. These games you used in the past will not get you anywhere. Acting like a victim, feeling entitled, trying to control any form of blaming or finger pointing. These are just a few games you may be playing and you might not even realize that you're playing any of these games. Luckily, your twin flame is your perfect mirror and they will most certainly reflect these things back to you, whether or not you like it, because that's what twin flames do. And that's why twin flame love is far greater than any relationship with a random person. Some random person, soulmate, whatever, is not going to mirror these things back to you. Because that type of relationship is only two people agreeing to settle for less than true love for a limited amount of time. So only with your twin flame can you go deeper and deeper into love. It is from a place of oneness, created as one, operating as one, that is union. And union is not just having someone in your life because you're lonely or because your internal time clock to have a family is closing. 
or because you're bored and you want someone to be there for you. And so many of you want to hold on to these old games and patterns, thinking that they're helping you or serving you in some way. And you think that you can hold on to these things and still come into union, but you can't. You will never come into union if you choose to hold on to the old bullshit. This twin flame journey is a way of life. And if you aren't ready or willing to make this journey a way of life, then you aren't at all ready to be with your twin flame. And here you have, uh, on one hand, union with your twin flame, right? Or all of the other bullshit that you're so desperately trying to hold on to that feels really bad. The games, the uh, all the hurt, the the pain, all, all of this. He... He or she did it, all this blaming. You can't have both of these things and come into union. One of them, this, this over here, has to be let go in order to come into union. You can't have both. You can only have one. It's your choice. And side note here, if you choose the bullshit and feeling bad, and all the games and patterns, you only spite yourself. Your choices only affect you. You're not getting revenge, and you're not hurting anybody other than you. So release how you did things in the past. Release the games. Release anything that doesn't have to do with unconditionally loving yourself and your twin flame. If you don't know how to release these things, learn how to do the mirror exercise. And if you want to make rapid progress on your twin flame journey, learn the, and learn what the best way for you to move forward is, sign up for a free consultation. Visit asoneguidance.com to end this separation and start living the life of your dreams. Have a good day.